Okay, Timothy, I'm going to sneak into Olivia's room and pull this cauldron of slime over her head. Sound good? Well, I better get going. These princesses won't prank themselves. <gasps> Where's my crown? You haven't hidden it again, have you, Timothy? Hmm, I can't go out without my hat. I'm half as terrifying without it. Well, I'll just have to make one myself. crown after find a new crown instead to visit. And then Steve the sheep pulled out his magical wand and cast a spell on the evil witch. Isabella! I was going to give her back. I promise. I know you're sat there wondering why I've sent you a mirror and wondering where Timothy's spider food is. Sent him my regards, by the way. Well, this isn't any old mirror. It's a magic mirror. Enjoy. Love, Gran. <gasps> magic mirror. Sorry, Timothy. Did it, mate. Right. Let's see how this works. I can tell you. Huh? Well, it's me, but rather you, but not you in the mirror. I'm just going to say it again. Huh? Ugh, so the mirror's magic makes another version of you, but inside the mirror. So you live inside the mirror? Yes, but here's the fun bit. I can travel to any mirror you want. <gasps> Oh, this is going to be fun. Huh? Ah! 
more sturdy around here to stand on. This wasn't here before, I swear. Ah! I just don't understand, an eye mask, a 
cabbage and an oar, an eye mask, a cabbage and an oar. <gasps> Malice. <laughs> yeah, sorry Malice, you just interrupted our spell practice. Spell practice? Yeah! We set up an oar as some kind of catapult. Then we load it up with a vegetable of our choice. Blindfold ourselves, you know, to make things interesting. Unleash the target. And fire a spell! You okay, Malice? <laughs> yeah, sorry about the mess, Malice. Uh, hazard of spell practice, you see. You wanna go? <gasps> <gasps> mm. 